<sighs> this summer, the buzziest drinks are actually the ones that won't give you a buzz. According to the delivery service Drizzly, sales of non-alcoholic beers, wines, and spirits are up at least 30% over last year. Epicurious Digital Director Maggie Hoffman has been covering the trend. She and her team made a list of 23 non-alcoholic drink recipes that you can make at home, and she brought along a few of them for us to taste right here on the show. Maggie Hoffman, good morning. Welcome. Good Thanks morning. for having me. So what's been fueling the rise of non-alcoholic drinks? You know, I think this has really been going on a while. Uh, really creative bartenders, even before the pandemic, were starting to think, okay, what can we welcome people with in our restaurants and our bars that's better than just you can have a Diet Coke, you can have a lemonade. And so really creative drinks started appearing on menus. And, you know, I think during the pandemic, people have been thinking a lot about wellness and balance and whether drinks fit in their lives, whether they might want to take a break. More and more people are doing dry January and reevaluating their relationship with alcohol. So people often refer to these as mocktails, but yeah. you say that we shouldn't use that term. Don't call them mocktails, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's we're not mocking anything. The whole point of making a beautiful non-alcoholic drink is to treat yourself to something nice, to welcome guests to your dinner party. Uh, and so they're real drinks. You know, there's a bunch uh. of, of new books on the topic. Um, Julia Bainbridge has a book of non-alcoholic drink recipes, and it's just called Good Drinks for Whenever You're Not Drinking for Any Reason. Nice. Uh, not drinking alcohol for any reason. Uh, and. Julie Momase calls them uh, spirit-free. She's Ooh. a bartender in Chicago. So thinking about, you know, these are balanced drinks okay. that are every bit as interesting as a cocktail. Um, I like and that. you're welcoming everybody with it and you're not making fun of them. There's no stigma to not drinking. I've, actually, sure. I, I've actually even seen, sorry, Drinka, but I've, I've actually seen a, um, just a to liquor to store. You're ready to get to the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, uh, a, 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 a store that sells only non-alcoholic like oh, really? spirits. Oh, wow. It's called Boisson. Oh, I saw it on the Upper West Side of New York City and mm -hmm. it's got like gin and whiskey, but but not alcohol. Not alcohol. Ah. Interesting. Yeah. There are so many new products on the market. Even between when I was writing Batch Cocktails, my second book in 2018, there was maybe one option in non-alcoholic spirits. And now there's whole stores mm. full all through the country. And the good thing is, because there's not alcohol in them, those things can also be shipped. Ah, so it. let's get to the drinks. We'll yeah, let's, let's do that. <laughs> Still talking about Jerica. Got some pina colada. <laughs> yeah, we've got all kinds of great drinks. There's a collection of recipes on Epicurious. Uh -huh. uh, so you can find them all there. And this is sort of a range that'll demonstrate a little bit of what's going on. Okay. Uh, so, so this is a not a colada? This is a not a colada. A okay. not a so, colada. Which uh, we're going with this one first? Yeah, I don't need this straw. Ooh, right. I, I, find, really I will drink from the straw, Nate. This is very good. So this is a drink from Derek Brown. And you know, wow. you could make a non alcoholic pina colada with just. Ooh, that pineapple. is good. Did you finish the whole thing? Did you really? <laughs> he downed wow. it. <laughs> There's wow. no alcohol in it, Vlad, okay? True. That is so funny. So it's tasty. <laughs> Make this with just pineapple and coconut cream, but it's then it wouldn't really be that good. interesting. I'm surprised. And he puts a few secret ingredients in there to make it taste mm. a little more complex, a little more like the rum version. That tastes better than a normal pina colada. Yeah. It's very good. It really does. You can really drink delicious. it in the morning. All right, what else do we have over here? So this other one is from my book, Batch Cocktails. The recipe is also in Epicurious. Uh, Smells really good. Super simple. What's it called? It's called the Blaylock. The Blaylock. And it's so simple. You can make this at home. Have you ever had a grapefruit and put honey on it or put sugar on it and the flavor comes out? Yeah. I so this is just grapefruit. fresh grapefruit, lemon juice, honey. Um, if you want, you can toast the little spice that you put on top, but you don't have to. And that's something that you can make in a big pitcher and have ready for a brunch or a barbecue. If anyone wants to slow down, anyone taking the My man just off. already downed it. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's what we're supposed to do. It's <laughs> the point of the segment. We're supposed to drink them. Oh, you over here sipping like I am sipping them. In. I'm sipping them like, wow. you know, so, feeling good, Louis. So we, got, we got one more to we try. We got a spritz, right? Yeah. So this spritz. last one right, is really a celebration of what's out there now. Um, you can get great non-alcoholic wow. wine now. Mm -hmm. This is a non-alcoholic Riesling from Lights called Eins Vi Zero. Oh, this is great. Um, it and does taste, it almost has a taste like a little bit, a little bitter, a little bit of wine. So yeah. this, and it has a non-alcoholic aperitif called Wilfred's, but there's a huge range of these available now. <laughs> Frank the Tank, Frank the Tank, Frank the Tank. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. He really did finish them. Wow. <laughs> 
Uh, it's not good really when it touches good. your lips. This is ah, delicious. It's so good once it hits the lips. <laughs> Aggie Hoffman, <laughs> thank you so much. They it's are really delicious. Del- my favorite is the Nata Colada, though. Yeah, the Colada is really good. It, and it has so a lot of flavor like, and it's layered with Shirley flavor. Temples. That's what everybody knows, this right? This is yeah. the new generation of non-alcoholic drinks. Just don't call them. I just want to go outside. I want to sit in something like this with this drink. Take so the rest of the day great. off. I think I or will. Or made another. Maggie, you're the best. <laughs> Top me off again, baby. <laughs> now, if you want some of these drinks, we have the recipes. Just visit our CBS Mornings Facebook and Twitter pages to find all Here, of these recipes. More? We will be right back. No, Cheers. I don't think so. We're not we sure. don't even have We're any. Not sure. Cheers. Cheers. Yes, yes. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>